Hey everyone, so I've tested tons of AI tools and honestly most of them are just gimmicks. So today I wanted to share the ones that I personally thought were very useful. So let's dive in. Okay, let's start with research, which is probably one of the most time consuming tasks that we do. ChatGPT's new agent mode is incredible. It acts like an autonomous research assistant that handles entire workflows for you. So the key difference from regular ChatGPT is that it doesn't just answer questions. It actually performs tasks using its own virtual computer. Um, it can browse websites, analyze data, uh, run code and create documents and all by itself. So for example, I needed to find thumbnail designers, but doing it manually would take hours. So I asked the uh, agent to research 10 different thumbnail designers and create a list with their names, portfolio links, pricing and uh, what they specialize in all organized automatically and in the meantime while the ai is working for you you can do something else you can do other tasks go for a walk go to cafe or do whatever you like which is really really cool and another favorite research tool of mine is cosmic which is very different from typical tools. Instead of juggling countless browser tabs, you work with dedicated canvases for each project and the AI automatically searches the web based on whatever topic you set for each universe. And it will bring you relevant content without having to look for it yourself. But um, you can browse directly within your workspace. Um, when you find something useful, just capture it into your canvas. Um, it's essentially like having unlimited workspace where web content, uh, documents, images, and your notes all live together uh, with smart AI keeping everything organized. Now, building a website used to take weeks of work or thousands of dollars hiring developers. Um, Durable changes this with its AI-powered website builder that can create a professional website in just seconds. And they're kindly sponsoring this video today. And what makes it special is how it combines AI generation with practical business tools. You can just tell it what kind of website you want, um, whether it's for your uh, portfolio, um, you know, consulting business or a personal brand, and it creates a complete customized website instantly. The AI understands what you need and uh, generates not just the design, but also relevant pages and content. I actually built my photography portfolio using Durable and it was shockingly fast. Um, instead of spending days tweaking templates and uh, writing content, I had a professional looking site in just under a minute. And customizing your site is very simple as well. You can easily add new pages and sections from an extensive list of options. And if you're not happy with how something looks, you can just ask the AI to regenerate it. No coding or design skills needed because the AI handles all the heavy lifting while you focus on getting your content exactly how you want it. And also what really impressed me was how it solves the hardest part of website creation, which is writing compelling copy. You know, instead of staring at a blank page, trying to come up with catchy headlines and uh, persuasive text, the AI generates everything from titles to detailed content that actually sounds natural and engaging and not at all like the generic AI text you might expect. And if you're not happy with the tone, you can adjust the AI's writing style and personality until it matches your brand voice perfectly. And also I love that it handles SEO automatically as well. The AI optimizes every page to help you get found on Google without needing any technical knowledge. And plus it comes with a built-in blog management tool as well. It's only uh, $12 a month. It's uh, surprisingly affordable compared to traditional website builders. Whether you're starting a business, need just a portfolio, or want to launch any kind of professional website quickly, this tool can save you countless hours of work. All right, managing emails has always been one of the most time consuming parts of my day. That changed when I started using Jace. Uh, it's an AI assistant that works 24 seven in the background to keep your inbox organized. What I personally like is how proactive it is. It um, automatically prepares drafts in your writing style while you're away. Um, when you open your inbox, you find draft replies waiting for you already. And all you need to do is just to check them and hit send. And these drafts are surprisingly good because Jace understands the full context, including attachments, uh, previous conversations, and even connected tools like Stack and Notion. So 
this feature alone has saved me uh, a ton of time. Um, and the smart labeling as well is really useful. It auto sorts your emails based on content, uh, which also saves hours of manual organization. This is particularly useful for people like me who uses the same single email address for multiple projects or even, even jobs. Uh, so for me, being able to instantly see which emails are related to YouTube and which ones are related to my photography business is crucial. All right, now I've tried tons of writing apps, but Lex is definitely the best one. The coolest thing about Lex is how it helps with research while you write. Instead of constantly switching between tabs and uh, searching Google, you can just ask Lex some questions. And if you need to you know, fact check something or find red one sources, just ask and it pulls up the information you need instantly. And also when I'm stuck, I can chat with the AI about my draft. It can suggest ways to continue, um, point out parts that could be clearer or help me restructure my ideas. And I love that you can even give it your other writing as context. Uh, this way it understands your style and the topics you usually write about, which makes its suggestions way more relevant. And all of this happens in a super clean, simple interface, which I really, really appreciate because it helps me just focus on actually writing. Um, no clutter, no distractions. Uh, but recently, I'm actually using more of this writing app that I built myself, uh, which I just vibe coded with Claude. But I will talk about that more in another video. Right, uh, when it comes to studying, I'd say Notebook LM is awesome. Everybody knows it by now since it's, I think it's free and works really well. Um, you can create a new notebook for a topic you want to learn, then add a source material, which can be a website, a YouTube video, um, PDF, and so on. Uh, or now you can choose Discover to have the tool fetch some sources for you, which is really handy. And once there's enough materials, you can have AI generate a summary, note, quiz, mind map, or whatever you need. But the newest feature is super impressive. They just launched this thing called Video Overviews, where the AI creates an explainer video for the topic uh, using images and diagrams from your documents. Exact same thing with dopamine. Every notification, every new video, it's a direct injection of reward right into our brain. Uh, it's really well made and useful, especially when you're studying uh, something very difficult to comprehend with just text. And also I love the new study mode by ChatGPT, which was just released uh, yesterday, I think. Uh, instead of giving direct answers, it uses Socratic questioning to guide you through problems, uh, which helps you understand concepts rather than just memorizing solutions. So AI remembers your skill level and adapts its teaching style accordingly. And you can toggle it on and off during conversations as well. Uh, I think it's available across all ChatGPT plans and uh, it's perfect when you want to grasp difficult materials rather than just get quick answers. Okay, the next one is Spiral. It's a clever tool that helps transform any piece of writing into different formats, uh, whether it's turning your meeting notes into a clear summary, turning a long email into a shorter version, or even creating social media posts from your blog. Spiral can handle it all automatically. Content creators like myself use it to quickly adapt their work from uh, different platforms. Um, so for example, you can turn a YouTube video into a blog post, a blog post into Twitter threads, newsletters into LinkedIn articles and so on. Uh, it's honestly a, a, such a huge time saver when you want to share your ideas across multiple channels. Uh, for students, it's super helpful for turning study notes into flashcard or condensing lengthy research papers into quick summaries. Professionals can use it to transform detailed reports into presentation or convert complex documents into simpler explanations for clients. There are lots of things you can do with it. All right, finally, taking notes during meetings can be a real pain. I like to use Limitless. It solves this with a clever combination, AI assistant plus a wearable device that looks like a pendant or a clip. So the, this device itself works at your portable meeting assistant. Instead of jotting down everything, you simply press a button on this pendant to start a recording and the AI transcribes everything in real time and organizes the information automatically. I prefer this to typical AI meeting apps that only works online, whether you're in a Zoom meeting or 
in person discussion, you can capture everything with Limitless. Uh, but if this is the only thing it did, your phone or your Note app would have been enough. But the companion app ties everything together really nicely. It not only stores your recordings and uh, transcripts, but also helps you make sense of them. Uh, beyond just transcription, its AI helps identify key points, actual items, and uh, deadlines from your conversations. You can even ask follow-up questions about specific topics which are discussed in past meetings. Okay, uh, I think that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Uh, I really appreciate that. So I will see you in the next one. Bye.